to the Royal Daily Tea YouTube channel. Please be advised all of my videos are for entertainment purposes only, based 100% on my own opinion, my own theories, and my own research. All of my information can be found on the public domain and falls under the fair use guidelines. Please feel free to do your own research. Hi everyone, it's Michelle and welcome back to the Royal Daily Tea. Hope everyone is off to a wonderful week. I enjoyed my weekend. I went and saw the movie, The Downton Abbey New Era. It was actually really good. I really enjoyed the movie. I will say the storyline's a little bit cheesy. I mean, they do get to be a little bit cheesy, but I love the cast, the characters, the scenery. I wish they would bring a spinoff uh, of Downton Abbey or just a whole other series. I just absolutely love it. So if you haven't seen it and you are a fan of Downton Abbey, I highly recommend it. I actually watched it on pay-per-view on Amazon Prime for about $5. So it is available for rent if you want to watch it from a home. It may or may not still be in the movie theaters, but I was able to see mine from home and I absolutely loved it. So today is Princess Beatrice's 34th birthday. So happy birthday to Princess Beatrice. So there's an old story that has been circulating again where Princess Eugenie disapproved of her sister's pregnancy announcement that clashed with the third wedding anniversary of Harry and Meghan. Now, I actually did a video on this on my channel talking about how Princess Beatrice kind of served up a royal snub against Harry and Meghan. Now, if you remember back in October of 2018 when Princess Eugenie married Jack Brooksbank, it is alleged that that Megan let it known to the family that she was expecting her first child, Archie, which is a social faux pas, as you will, is you don't upstage the bride, you don't drop personal, you know, messages like, hey, I'm pregnant at someone's wedding. It's very, very bad form. So apparently the wedding was on a Friday or Saturday. And by Monday, it had hit the airwaves that they were expecting. This was right ahead of their Australian tour. Of course, we remember Megan showing up where she was constantly pushing her stomach forward with the open coat really playing up the, you know, the belly. So it is rumored that Princess Beatrice kind of got back at her by announcing her pregnancy on their wedding anniversary. Now, it could have been a complete quinky dink, but I absolutely love Princess Beatrice for doing it. As a matter of fact, I became a member of the Princess Beatrice fan club around that time. Again, I always feel between the two York sisters um, that Princess Beatrice tends to be a little bit more neutral, more supportive of the queen, the royal family. She tends to get along, in my opinion, with Kate and William, but definitely Princess Eugenie is Team Sussex. Now, I understand that Harry is her cousin. She has a right to have a relationship with him. But in my personal opinion, Meghan and Eugenie get along like a house on fire because they have a mutual hate and jealousy toward Kate. Princess Eugenie has always had um, negative feelings toward Kate, never liked Kate, considered Kate a commoner beneath them. She's not of royal blood. And we know that Princess Eugenie is a princess by birth. She's a blood princess, very entitled, very privileged. You know, their father, Prince Andrew, is also a very entitled, privileged person. The four of them, the Yorks, live a very pampered and very privileged life, in my opinion. So they kind of grew up with this little bit of entitlement. And here comes Kate Middleton, Wady Katie. You know, she's dating Prince William for eight years. She's a commoner. They probably thought she was going to float away and not be a part of the family. 
Well, the joke was on them when she married into the family in 2011. So that has to chap Eugenie's hide that she one day has to curtsy to this commoner who's going to be the future queen consort. There was even pictures and videos of her kind of bumping really hardly into Kate as she walks down the step. She's very rude to Kate, in my opinion. So she's always had kind of a jealous thing going on with Kate. And we all know that Megan has a lot of jealousy toward Kate. So the two of them became bosom buddies in their dislike, disdain, and jealousy of Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge. I feel that's why these two are two peas in a pod, if you, if you ask me. But Beatrice tends to kind of stand away. You don't really see her having this close relationship with Megan, or at least I haven't seen any close relationship with Megan. And it is rumored that the sisters have had the occasional rift, Princess Eugenie and Princess Beatrice. But it is said that supposedly Princess Eugenie was not happy with Princess Beatrice kind of still in the thunder of Megzi on her wedding anniversary by announcing her pregnancy. But I was like, yes, girl. Yes, girl. I was here for it. I loved it. If you have a chance, go check out my old video on the subject. Now, we know that Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie, in my opinion, have always had a little bit of an awkward relationship with the rest of the royals due to their parents and their parents' relationship to the rest of the royals, especially their mother, Sarah, the Duchess of York, has always had some issues uh, in the past. And then, of course, their father, Prince Andrew. Now, lately, you know, there's been rumors that things are very tense between Charles, William, and Prince Andrew, most notably. Notably, Prince William had threatened not to walk in the, the garter of the order um, if Prince Andrew participated. So again, there's still a lot of bad blood kind of going on behind the scenes, a big power play. So Princess Eugenie, in my opinion, has always been a royal mole. She's Team Meghan. She is Team Harry because she really doesn't like the Cambridges because of their treatment of their father. And let's be honest, she's jealous of Kate. She's the, you know, the little stepsister who'll never be queen. Not to mention in 2011, that is the same year that Prince Charles had removed their security detail because he was, you know, downsizing the royal family. So here comes Kate the commoner marrying into the royal family and then they get cut off from their royal security. And they had gone from fifth and sixth to, I believe, ninth and tenth place in the line of succession. Harry, are you paying attention, son? You're going to go from number six to number 10 really soon. I just love this little story that came out how Princess Eugenie is all upset about her sister, but I absolutely love it. I would love to see more of Princess Beatrice and her husband, Eduardo. And let's be honest, ladies, she has won the royal lottery in husbands. Not only is he extremely good looking, but he's also an Italian count. So I believe Princess Beatrice is more in line with the royals, with Her Majesty the Queen with the Cambridges. She's living her best life. She just turned 34, has a beautiful daughter, a hot husband, and she doesn't have time for the evil two over there gossiping about Kate. So another story has come out that they believe that Meghan Markle was to blame for the initial spreading of the rumor of Prince William cheating with Rose Hanbury. Now, again, we talked about how Megan is very, very spiteful, and she's very, very jealous. And she was mad at the fact that the royal family was not dispelling all of the negative press that was coming out about her, and they were doing the never complain, never explain, and Kate was being built up in the media because Kate had kind of earned that well before Meghan had come on the stage. She had been the Duchess of Cambridge for about seven years before Meghan even married into the royal family. Now, we all know that Kate and her family had a lot of negative press for many, many years. They still receive negative press as it's part of the job of being a public figure. But Megan at the time was having a lot of negative press. She had just married into the royal family. The royal family was not cleaning up her public image the way that she wanted them to do, kind of like a Hollywood PR firm. They weren't helping her in the way she thought that they would 
should. So she was getting very catty and very jealous of the quote unquote special treatment that Kate was receiving in the press. So if you remember, Megan was convincing Harry that William and his team were spreading rumors about her in the press, that there was a smear campaign, and it was all coming from William because they were jealous of Megan and her Diana magic that she didn't have. But again, she was a legend in her own mind. So she was convincing Harry of her victimhood and how the royal family wasn't protecting her and cleaning up her image, and that William and Kate and their team were smearing her in the press. Again, that was not true. No matter what you think about the royal family, they're not going to publicly just air out their dirty laundry, regardless if you think there's competition between the Cambridges, the Yorks, uh, Charles and Camilla, whoever. They're not going to willingly put out negative stories about their own family because it makes everyone, especially the queen, look bad. They actually were trying to get Megan to rein in her own family. They convinced her to go fly out there, you know, make amends with your father, your sister, your brother, whoever, just shut it down. Remember that? They urged her to make up with her father, but Megan refused. Instead, she wrote the infamous letter to her daddy so she could let everyone know her side of the story, which was complete bullcrap. But again, the royal family wanted to get ahead of the scandal and shut it down. So why in the world would they leak all these negative stories about Megan just because William is jealous of her? Please. Nobody was jealous of Megan, okay? Nobody is jealous of Megan. She is a legend in her own mind. Nobody cares, okay? But again, she was convinced that William and his team were you know, coming after her. But in the meantime, she was obsessed. According to an insider, she was obsessed with William and Kate's marriage. She was obsessed with how they lived their private life. And she was obsessed with his friendship with Rose Hanbury, which according to an inside source, Kate was okay with. They were all friends. There was trust there. But she wasn't happy. She wanted to have something negative come out about Prince William. So according to the author, they believe that Megan is the source of the cheating rumors, that she had many contacts with In Touch magazine. When she was a starving actress and she wanted attention, she befriended a lot of the journalists and editors at the magazine. So how easy would it be for her to make a phone call to a friend to leak a fake story? Now, we do believe that there was a gentleman, I forgot his name, where he tweeted the horrible rumor and started the hashtag Prince William's a cheater um, on Twitter, and he since has retracted that statement saying that he made it up. Now, he was also a very, very good friend of Megzi that traces back to Soho House. Again, they really believe that Megan is the source of this original rumor that came out around 2019 uh, because Megan was very, very jealous of the treatment Kate was receiving and the fact that the royal family was not squashing the negative stories that were happening in the press, mainly from Megan's own family. Megan, you brought your bag of skeletons with you, sis. You can't blame the royals for your own mess that you refused to clean up. So she was very, very jealous of, you know, the press that Kate and William received. So they believe that they knew at the time that uh, Megan was possibly leaking the stories. And at this time, even though there was no proof, they never confronted Megan over their suspicions that she is the one who leaked the story to the press. But this is when they started to kind of ice her out, basically. So they said, quote, Megan knew In Touch magazine very well. She had been in the magazine several times when she was trying to be famous and had drinks with several writers and editors as she worked hard to be noticed, the insider dishes Quote, before she married Harry, Megan wanted to be in all of the weekly magazines and worked with publicists to make that happen. Megan knows how the system works better than anyone, which is why the Palace Insiders blamed her for the leaks. 
So in my opinion, of course, there's no proof that Megan had leaked any of these stories to the press, and her friend had admitted that he made up that rumor on Twitter, but I personally believe Megan fed him some false information, told him to spread the rumors, and he got on Twitter and spread it, and then of course it was reopened again in 2021 about Prince William cheating on Catherine, and now after the release of Tom Bauer's book, we had the new hashtag, which I'm not even going to mention in this video. I'm sure we all know what it is. Again, it's horrible. It's nasty. And it is something that the Sussex squad would sink to anything to detract uh, from the Tom Bauer book. So again, they're sinking to new lows here trying to rehash the fake rumor of William's affair with Rose Hanbury, and then they came out with another hashtag. Now, Pippa Middleton just gave birth to her third child, a daughter, who she named Rose. Kate Middleton and her sister Peppa are very, very close, so I cannot imagine under any circumstance why Peppa would name her daughter Rose if her sister's husband's mistress was named Rose. I think that would be a little messed up. That would be a little cruel. I don't know anyone who would do that. So the fact that she was okay naming her daughter Rose clearly means that there's no truth in this story. So I firmly believe that it was set by someone from Megan or possibly her friends because they're all very jealous and they're all very catty of the Cambridges. I'm not saying the Cambridges are perfect, but you can tell they have a very strong family unit. If you look at the two couples, to me the body language speaks volume of who's happy and who's not. And we'll just leave it at that. Well, guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you would please go over to my TikTok and help me get to 60,000 subscribers, I would greatly appreciate it. Also, be sure to check out my website, royaldailytea.com, as well as my Instagram and my other social media accounts. As always, I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.